how is tourism performing for Ecuador today? Well, we are doing very well because in the last years we have focused not only in the outside passengers but also in the inter passengers. So we are doing very well, especially you know Ecuador offers at least four different regions in a quite a small place. Uh, the Amazon jungle, which is always interesting, the volcanoes in the highlands, the beaches, we have a lot of beaches, and the Galapagos Islands. So as you can see, uh, you have the possibility in Ecuador to go from one region to the other in a half an hour uh, taking a plane, for instance. So, I mean, routes, we have very good routes now, very good highways, so I think transportation much better than in the UK. Well, of course, everybody's heard of Galapagos, knows about that. Okay. Um, I'm very happy to hear that there's control on the number of ship oh, yes. license that's, yes. that's allowed. Yes, yes. Of, uh, so, so that's good protection. Uh, for people who want to visit the inland and explore, maybe staying long stays, mm -hmm. if not, you know, permanent residency in Ecuador, what would you suggest? For mm -hmm. say, in a, say somebody from the UK you know, yes. is, is retired and wants to, to find another inland. place. Yes. Well, he has to go to the consulate of uh, here in London and take a visa. You have to have a purpose to go to Ecuador. But where would you suggest they, they explore? Mm -hmm. Maybe you should explore Cuenca, mm -hmm. which is on the south of the, of, the, of the country. It's a beautiful city. There is a very quiet, you know, and uh, the city is crossed by four rivers. So it's always interesting. The people there are very you know, friendly. And um, I think there you can have a spot to retire and uh, to stay there. Mm -hmm. Cost of living must be very it's reasonable compared very to... Very reasonable, very reasonable, mm -hmm. yes. You have a very good uh, health infrastructure in Cuenca. So hospitals, whatever you need. So I think it's, uh, it's a good spot to stay, if you want. But also you have the coast, maybe the beaches and the sea something that might attract more visitors from the UK because Give me an it's example. an island. Give me an example. For instance, you have Manta, uh -huh. mm -hmm. which is uh, have a very good airport and uh, has uh, also very good uh, <coughs> infrastructure. So <coughs> there you have a possibility to go very near from there. That's a city, but very near from there you have the possibility to to visit many beaches with a lot of lodges, of uh, uh, restaurants and uh, hotels where you can stay. Besides the Amazon, <clears throat> I understand there's a lot of options for adventurous travelers who like nature, uh, backpacking. Yeah. Yes, especially on the on, on the mountainside, on the highlands. There you have lagoons. You have uh, rivers. As you know, Ecuador is, uh, uh, has so many rivers that uh, you can do the many sports that now are... River brilliant. bays, mountain bays. Mountain bays. Nature's uh, all around both. Oh, all over the place. All over the place. And of course you have uh, the capital city, which is Quito. And uh, that is very interesting because we are uh, the center of Quito is one of the, of the best uh, restored uh, um, uh, What's a UNESCO World Heritage City. That's it. Number one. Yes, it is. And you have about, I don't know, more than a dozen uh, churches that really you have to visit them. It has been restored, it's beautiful, and uh, very safe. And you have now very good uh, hotels, four or five stars of hotels to stay there for for some days. You have museums, you have parks, whatever you want. Thank you Ambassador. Thank you very much for you.